to me, iOS 7 is just the pinnacle of Apple's software development. They bring you functionality on your iPhone that you never thought possible. And it makes my iPhone 5 feel like an entirely new device, a brand new iPhone, or an old Android. Cut. Jay, you can't say that. We're doing a review about Apple. What? One of the key things that I'm really excited about with iOS 7 is that they've got security at the forethought of their design implementation. And no longer do you have to deal with the slide to unlock and a pass key. You can you can still do the, the pattern on... Wait a minute. There's no pattern lock? Uh... One of the things that Apple has created with iOS 7 that is just so exciting is the fact that you no longer have to flip through 62 pages of settings to turn on your Wi-Fi. There is no other device in the world that makes it so simple. You just swipe up and, and there's everything. I mean, why haven't the other guys thought of this? One of the things that a lot of iPhone fans have really been asking for over the years is a larger screen. But Apple knows better. They know that you're all fucking idiots for wanting a larger screen. So what they've done is they've increased the depth of the phone. They've tricked you into thinking that your phone is actually bigger than it is by having a swipe down function to bring stuff down that you really don't give a shit about and a swipe up function to change a lot of the settings on your phone. And we all know swipe up to change your settings is different than swipe down. So that's not really copying anybody at all, right? And, and sometimes when I'm really bored, I'll just sit there and swipe up and swipe down and swipe down and swipe up and up and down. Now we all know that social media is all about taking a photo and frou-frou-fing it up to make it a lot more like Instagram. So that's why Apple has made sure to integrate a whole bunch of filters that you honestly don't give a shit about. I mean, seriously, these have got to be some of the worst filters that I've ever seen in any camera. Cut. Now, if there's one thing that is definitely standalone in iOS 7, it is the new transitions. And when you open up an app, the way that it just sort of pops right in there, don't you know? I mean, the icons and the way they seem to just float are, they're seamless with your device. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. Now, one of the things that I'm really excited about with iOS 7 is the fact that we've finally been given widgets. I uh, mean... Uh, Jay, there are no widgets in iOS 7. What? Well then, what do you get with iOS 7? You're getting colors and icons. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> iOS 7 brings over 200 new features to your iPhone. I've been able to find six of them. How? The other 194, I have absolutely no idea uh, what... Uh, Jay, stick to the script, please. <sighs> iOS 7 brings over 200 new features to your iPhone. New colors, translucent depth, new icons, some fonts, some new sounds. And ultimately, I think the Google design team has done a great job. Uh, uh, Jay, Jay.